Good afternoon. How was the morning session? Okay, what did you learn? A lot. Easter School 2005. 30 plus students from three inner London comprehensives Parkview Academy, Central Foundation Boys School, and Stoke Newington School came to Cambridge to learn about enterprise, something about life at a university like Cambridge, and to see life in a city that's so different from London. And also, you're taking an opportunity. This is when it gets serious. They started with group sessions looking at aspects of enterprise as well as what it means to be successful, how you might feel as a successful kind of person. They looked at how people work together and cooperate to solve problems in order to bring a project in on time. And now was the time to meet their challenges from Barclays PLC and Angel Trains. These business professionals had come to Cambridge to set challenges for the students that had to be met and completed in just three days. But they weren't about to meet these challenges alone. In addition to the team of Cambridge staff and undergraduates who were around with them all the time, the students had mentors and coaches from Entrepreneurs in Action who were going to be with them throughout the challenges. Guiding, mentoring, coaching, and even arbitrating when necessary. But the coaches, Usha, Carol, Eric, Maddie, weren't there to solve the problems, to manage the projects, or to tell the students what to do. The successful, or even unsuccessful, completion of the projects, brought in on time, was down to the students. The bottom line was that this was their responsibility. The thing we got here and um, this morning was basically a, 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 about getting to know each other. Um, during, during the day, we did, we done lots of activities, uh, which involved thinking differently outside outside the box, if you will. Um, then, then we came to our then we came to our rooms. Our accommodation is beautiful. We have our own bathrooms, ensuite, and everything. And now the really hard work was about to begin. Well, we're doing a project on with Angel Trains, and we're, it's all about uh, they're putting a kind of system of games and into an interactive system onto their trains on one of their carriages, and we're just we're going to make a presentation about what we think should be on and what we think should be on the trains. We're creating a um, Barclays Bank like current account for 16 to 18 year olds and so I'm researching statistics that we can use in our presentation for that. So that's it really. But I just lost the stuff on the computer. My name's Eric Gilston. I'm a member of the EIA team and what's going on today is there are four groups working here today. Uh, two who are working on a challenge which has been set by Barclays Bank and two groups are working on a challenge which is set by Angel Trains. Uh, my name is Usher and I'm also a member of the EIA project and we have been working together all week on um, dealing with these business challenges. What I've found over the last two days that's been extremely rewarding for me and I know for the other coaches too 
is to see how much the children and the students have, have progressed over the last two days, particularly on their self-belief. Um, a lot of concerns were around whether they'll be able to do these, whether they're good enough to do, with, to do something like these, and actually having done an exercise with them on self-belief um, and, um, and looking outside the box has really helped them to, to understand that anything is possible. And some of the quotes the children have come up with over the last two days has just been amazing. I mean, quotes that I, we have been so impressed with that we've had to write them up and put them on the wall because it's, it's been something that we haven't come across and we just think, great, and this is coming from the students. It's coming from them, not planted by us, but actually their own beliefs and understanding and values and learnings for, for the last two days. Yeah, yeah I'll read the structure. Oh, we don't have any of them. Exactly. Okay, so I'm the chair, deputy head, who I forgot. Okay, so I'll go first. I'll in introduce, then you. It could have been a current account because, like, um, like for the future, call it like not current, but like future accounts. The students were totally focused, but the final hurdle, making those presentations, was a big concern. I know, but you, because no one here is going to actually, it's going to be hard to actually talk about confidence. No, we're not. Confidence. No, all it is, so when we talk, we pick something, I don't know, you might be in a shed. So yeah, so when you talk, whatever you're talking about, you just talk with that emotion. So you talk with confidence. Right, let me tell you my thing again. Basically, today, It wasn't all work and no play. Candlelit dining in a Cambridge college in company with their undergraduate supporters, Cambridge supervisors, EIA coaches and visitors was part of the extracurricular learning. Day three saw the hard work continuing. As the deadline drew nearer, the students were really beginning to prepare themselves mentally for the final challenge. We've kind of built up some momentum now and we're working at a faster rate. Before we were just arguing over like what to do, but now we're starting to make decisions and it's getting better. How's the presentation coming along? It's coming along very well. We've got half an hour until we finished everything that we did. Then we're just going to practice like organising the presentation and stuff. Getting a bit nervous? Um, not really. I don't. I don't really do nervous, to be honest. <laughs> and so to the presentations, made to leading managers from Barclays and Angel Trains, explaining in their teams how they would solve the problems posed by the businesses. And after working so hard together, all the students received their just rewards, certificates and mementos of their time in Cambridge to add to the vast amount of knowledge and experience each student took away. As far as the programme is concerned, this is a pilot. I hope that it can be regarded as a pilot because I want to see this programme being rolled out for the benefit of many, many other young people from schools, not necessarily only from London, but from all over the country, being given the sorts of opportunities that these young people have been given here this week. 
As far as these young people are concerned, I think that what they've gained from having done this will actually accrue as the years go by because as they, beget, as they get older, they will reflect on what they've learned and they will begin to see ways in which what they've learned this week have different applications and how opportunities and challenges that they've met this week actually come up in different guises throughout the rest of their lives.